Thank, uh, thanks to the limelight for inviting me. This is really, really neat to be here. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you're here because otherwise I'd be just standing in a bar talking in the corner. So, uh, I, Tom, that, that presentation right before me was terrific. Um, he blew the audio visual budget. This is all I had left. So there'd be no slideshow for me. <clears throat> this is my 20th year at the Mercury News. My first really big job for the Mercury News was as the Giants beat writer. And that was in the year uh, 2000. And at that time, Dusty Baker was still the manager, the beloved Sacramento, Sacramento's own Dusty Baker. And I remember before a game against the Milwaukee Brewers, um, Dusty had a really long conversation with Jeff Jenkins, who at that time was the Brewers' left fielder. I mean, a really long conversation. So I couldn't figure it out. Dusty had never managed the Brewers and Jeff Jenkins had never played for the Giants, and I kind of wondered about the connection. So I asked Dusty the next day, you know, why were you talking to Jeff Jenkins for so long? And Dusty said, because he's my homeboy. And by homeboy, of course, he meant Sacramento. You know, they were, they were connected by their Sacramento youths, but by their Sacramento roots, because Dusty Baker played high school baseball at, well, wondering if the crowd knows. Okay, I had a feeling you guys might know. And Jeff Jenkins played at? Cordova, I heard somebody say Cordova, correct? Okay, so there we go. Thank you, David. Um, over the course of that first season, the, uh, that pattern would repeat itself over and over again. If the Giants were playing St. Louis, Dusty would stop and talk to Fernando Vina, who went to? Va uh, Valley and Sac City College, yes. If the Giants were playing the Phillies, he would, of course, talk to Larry Boa of? And McClatchy. Yeah. You know, if it was the Padres, it'd be Greg Vaughn of the? Kennedy, Kennedy and? Sac another Sac City guy. So, Miami. <laughs> and Miami. We're not counting Miami today. Miami could have its own day. So, so that told me two things over the course of that first season. It told me two things. First of all, there is a ton of talent in the major leagues that comes from the Sacramento area. And I think we see why today. I mean, the, the roots of the Sacramento area and baseball in this area is incredible. So it's a testament to some of the people in this room. It's a testament to the, the quality of the coaches in this area from the youth league on up. And it should be no surprise that many of these people are playing baseball at the highest level who, who were born and raised here in Sacramento. The other thing that first year taught me about Dusty and his connection to Fernando Vini and Jeff Jenkins and all these guys was the sense of community that this area has, the sense of the baseball community. You know, they might not have played together or known each other, but the, the Sacramento connectedness uh, told me a lot about this area. And it's one of the things I love about Sacramento, no matter how big a city this is, we're all neighbors here. I mean, it's still it's kind of that small town feel, and, and I, I think that translates all the way to the big leagues, where guys know one, and know one another from Sacramento. So one other dusty story that I think says a lot about this area and speaks to the uh, kind of the community roots was one of my fellow sports writers for many years was a guy named Nick Peters. I don't know if you guys know that name. But Nick Peters, the great sports writer for the Sacramento Bee, he covered the Giants starting in 1960, was his first year, and then in 2007 was his last year. So 47 years of covering the San Francisco Giants baseball, so he's covered Mays and Marichal and Bobby Bonds and Barry Bonds all, all the way up. Now, you might have read in the paper, Nick Peters died less than a month ago. It was about three weeks ago. And I visited him a little bit before that, and <clears throat> the end was not good for him. His, his last couple months, he had this really rare neurological disease where he couldn't talk, he couldn't really move, he could just kind of sit in bed and the conversation would be, would be one-way conversations. So I asked his wife, Lise, you know, has he had a lot of visitors? And she said, of course, Dusty was here. Because of the Sacramento, because they were always close, Dusty came and sat at the bedside of this old time writer for about two hours and just told all the, all the baseball stories. And when he left, you know, he, Dusty wrapped Nick up in his arms and said, I love you, Mr. Nick. And that was the last time they saw each other. But during my visit, that was the only time Nick brightened up was at the mention of Dusty Baker. So kind of with that, with that spirit of community, and with that as the backdrop about knowing how many great baseball players are from this area, I thought I'd rely on you guys to help me make an all Sacramento team based on the best players, the best major league players to come out of this area. So I've got a team in mind, but I'm not going to 
my helper here, my hired help, Serena Finnegar is going to come up and be our lineup card star. But we'll just go position by position. And uh, I will ask the crowd now, best first baseman to come out of Sacramento? Oh, Nick Johnson's a good one. Derek Lee is an excellent one. I wrote some notes about some of these guys. I think Derek Lee might be a leader in the clubhouse. Derek Lee played at El Camino High School, was born in Sacramento. He played 15 years in the major leagues and hit 331 home runs. He made, did I say that wrong? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Derek Lee made two all-star teams in 2005 and 2007, and he won the 2005 batting title when he hit 335. So unless there's any objections, I'm going to put Derek Lee as our first baseman. Yeah? Okay. All right, second base. Pedroia. Pedroia, the great Woodland star. That's Fernando Vina. Sacramento is deep at second base because we've heard Steve Sachs, excellent second baseman. Pedroia. Fernando Vina, excellent second baseman. Uh, who's the? Fernando Vina, 285. And then Pedroia. Pedroia, who was both uh, a rookie of the year, like Steve Sachs was and uh, an MVP. So we might have to vote on this one because this is a deep, uh, so we'll just do a quick vote. Steve Sachs, one vote. Fernando Vina, one vote. Dustin Pedroia is going to be our second baseman. He'll be so proud. No, not too late. We've got, a bench, we've got a bench here. Joe Gordon? Joe Gordon. Now, tell me about Joe Gordon's Sacramento connection, because I know he was born in Oregon and played college ball in Oregon. He lived in Sacramento during what time? He was a manager. He was a manager. Two years. Any playing time here? Oh, yeah. He the league in Oregon. Okay. No, no, but playing for the Sacramento area. Joe Gordon played for the Solon. Okay. We're gonna put him on the. We're gonna put him on the bench because we're going mostly by the major league qualifications. And Nick Johnson. Here's our bench. Nick Johnson. Joe Gordon. All right. Now accepting nominations for our third baseman. Stan Hack is an automatic. <laughs> tell you why, or one of our historians could tell you why, but Stan Hack spent 16 years in the major leagues. He was born in Sacramento. He went to Sacramento High School. Five all-star games, a lifetime 301 hitter. He ranked in the top 10 for on-base percentage nine times, and he twice led the league in stolen bases, which you don't find in a lot of third basemen. So Stan Hack, congratulate. Welcome to the squad, Stan Hack. It's a good, good squad shaping up here. Shortstop. I think uh, Larry Boa might be our no unanimous nomination. Let me go back here. Oops. Unless there are any other nominations, I'll do a quick uh, Larry Boa bio. Oops. Larry Boa, McClatchy High School, Sacramento City College, five all-star games, led the National League in triples in 1971. Played 16 years in the major leagues, more than 2,000 hits, more than 300 stolen bases. And I will lean again on our, our historians, but my understanding is Larry Boa, though he went to McClatchy, did not make the team in McClatchy. Does that sound familiar? Yeah. Played Legion, but did not make this. That McClatchy squad must have been loaded, but he'll make this team. All right. Outfielders. Frank Emery. Greg Vaughn. Westlake. Whoa, we're getting. Okay. Dusty Baker I heard mentioned. So we'll go Dusty. We'll mention Dusty Baker, who many of you know that before he was a manager, 
Lee Ron Lee, we're going to put him on the squad. We'll get him in a second. Let me give you a quick dusty rundown as a player. 19 years in the big leagues, 242 home runs, a two-time All-Star, won a gold glove in 1981, was the 1977 NLCS MVP with your beloved Dodgers. Lee Ron Lee, was that the other nomination? Is he going to get unanimous support? We'll put him on the squad. Can somebody give me a good scouting report on? Joe Marty. Joe Marty. Uh, excellent player. And he, did somebody mention that he was one of the guys that, that, that could have played more in the big leagues but preferred playing in the Pacific Coast League and thought that it was just as equitable as the, the big leagues? Joe Marty. And I heard Roland Office, whose photo I saw on the wall over here. Greg Vaughn is now. We'll do some lineup swaps later. Uh, Greg Vaughn, who was the other name that was just mentioned? Oh, Roland Office. I'm going to give you a quick little Greg Vaughn uh, a case for his starting position since I, I hear it uh, back there too. Greg Vaughn, McClatchy High, Sac City College. 15 years in the big leagues, 355 home runs. In 19, uh, 1998, I'm sorry, Kennedy High School, Kennedy High School. In 1998, uh, he had 50 home runs, which a lot of people didn't notice because that was the big year. Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire were hitting much more, but Greg Vaughn was right there. Four-time All-Star, Greg Vaughn, on our bench here in the Sacramento squad. Other outfielders? Tommy Glaviano? That's a name I don't know. Cardinals. Second. Deion James. We'll put Deion James on our, our outfield. is good. Roland Office is here. We're missing, we're still missing outfielders? We've just got Nick Johnson as our backup. Bob Oliver, excellent. Okay. Oh, since I mentioned him at the beginning, Jeff Jenkins is going to be on our team, too. Catcher. Buck, no, Buck Martinez is uh, who, who I picked. Uh, Gino Petrali, excellent. Matt Walbeck. So we got Buck Martinez, Elk Grove High School, Matt Walbeck, and Gino Petrali are all nominations. Is this the guy we should vote on? Or is this a position we need to vote on? OK, so how many votes for Buck Martinez? OK, that's a decent one, too. We'll say seven. Matt Walbeck? There's one vote for Matt Walbeck. Gino Petrali? Three, and there was one other name. But... What's that? Kudo Berrigan. Kudo Berrigan. Any votes for that? Two votes here. All right, so Buck Martinez is going to win. No, eke his way out of the squad. Pitchers. Lots of pitchers from this area. Chris Basio. Chris Basio. And the Force Brothers. Chris Basio, quick background. He won 94 games in the big leagues, Cordova High School and Sac City College, threw a no-hitter in the big leagues. He'll be on our squad. He'll be in the rotation. The Force Brothers, Ken Force and Bob Force, both of them went to Johnson High School. Both of them threw no, at least one no-hitter. Bob Force threw two no-hitters. Ken Force won 114 games in the big leagues, had a 3.37 ERA. Bob Force won 168 games in the big leagues, had a 3.76 ERA. So I think we can safely put both Bob and Ken on our squad. Other pitchers? We can go to Bo Palmer. Bo Palmer? 
Lowell Palmer. Butch Metzger. Tim Barr. I missed one. You just told me. You just told me. Jim Barr. All right. I will leave my pen here. You guys can feel free to add names to our bench later. But I think this, the, the, the exercise has told us what we already know, that Sacramento is awesome when it comes to baseball. And a lot of teams, you know, I would put the Sacramento team up against any team, in the, any team around. So thanks a lot for your help. And I hope uh, there are more players to come. Thanks so much.